If your child has developed watery, sticky eyes shortly after birth, they may well have a, a blocked tear duct. You will be quite worried about the watering. You will be worried about the stickiness. The first thing parents think when they see their child's got a watery, sticky eye is, oh my goodness, my child's got an eye infection. Now, although it's possible your child has an eye infection, the most common cause of a watery, sticky eye in the under one year old is a blocked tear duct, where the tear duct just hasn't fully opened in a natural way, and it's most likely is going to open. If your child's watery sticky eye persists for a few weeks, you can do simple measures at home to help it and to stop your child looking as though they've got an infection. You can keep the eyelids clean by frequently washing them and wiping them with warm saline water. And if you think there's an infection, you need to see first of all your GP, who will give you some antibiotic drops or ointment. And if it persists, and looks as though it's not going to resolve itself spontaneously, then you need to see the paediatric ophthalmologist or an ocular plastic surgeon such as myself who looks after little children with watery sticky eyes. There's a lot that can be you can do for your child's watery sticky eyes as well as just cleaning and helping your child not to look as though they've got an infection. First of all, you must be quite emphatic to their nursery that it is not an infection. It is just a delayed opening of the tear duct. They're not going to be infecting other children. However, they could get an infection if there is stagnation of the tears in their tear sac. So we like you to do a little bit of hydrostatic pressure with your little finger over the tear sac, just to empty any stagnant tears and stop it, your child from getting an infection, a conjunctivitis. Let's say your child is now aged two or three months and there's been no sign of improvement, then you must come and see the ophthalmic professional. We will assess your child, make sure that all the parts of the tear ducts that we expect to see are there, and we would advise you on the management that you should be doing at home. We don't intervene or do anything surgical until your child is age one. And the reason for this is we want to reassure you that at least 90% of all children who have watery sticky eyes are going to get better all by themselves. If your child needs a small procedure of a syringing and probing by the paediatric ophthalmologist or the ocular plastic surgeon, this is done very simply as a day case and immediately after the surgery, the duct will be free and open. It would have been flushed through, any mucus uh, would have been flushed out, and the watery and stickiness would have gone away. The ophthalmologist will want your child to have some eye drops for a few days or a week after surgery, and then they'll see you back at the clinic with your child a few weeks afterwards. Inevitably, there is going to be a complete cure except in a very small percentage where there may be a more complex block. In which case we have other small operations for tear ducts for your child which we can offer and do. If your child is over the age of one and they still have a watery sticky eye, in other words they're not one of the 90% that are going to get better by the age of one spontaneously, they may, between the ages of one and four years, need another procedure. We will assess your child to see what that procedure is. The procedure will likely be an endoscopic endonasal monitoring of a syringing and probing. That's where I put a little uh, torch into your child's nose while they're asleep and make sure there's no uh, cyst at the bottom of the tear duct, which is obstructing it from draining and to treat that. Very rarely, uh, extremely rarely, there's a more severe block, possibly a developmental block that hasn't been able to be cleared and then your child will require a DCR or dacryocystorhinostomy operation.